Hey, I'm Jeff with Home Built Workshop. Today we're going to be installing a Kurt Brand trailer hitch on a 2005 Ford Escape. Included in the kit are the instructions and all the nuts, bolts, and washers and parts that you'll need. You'll need a socket and wrench set, a hammer, a torque wrench, and possibly a drill to enlarge some holes in the frame, as we had to do. And so included with the kit is this little fish wire and brackets and a bolt. The fish wire so you can get the bolts through the frame. It's a little bit tricky, but I think it'll work okay. So what you do is, is you put the bracket goes over the fish wire, and then your bolt threads on like this, and that's how you pull everything through the frame. A Ford Escape is a unibody vehicle, so it really doesn't have any f official frame rails to attach this hitch to. So what we have to do is we have to feed these bolts up through the channels that make up the frame. So what we're trying to do is we're using this wire to pull a bolt and a bracket up through the channels of the frame. It's really tricky and takes a lot of patience, but stick with it, you'll get it. There's one. Yay. When we moved to the driver's side of the vehicle, we found that the bolt holes were too small to fit the bracket and the bolt up through. So we had to use a grinding bit in our drill to enlarge the holes so that we could feed the bracket and the bolt up through there. <laughs> All right. Now with enough clearance to fit the bolt and the bracket up through, it's time to feed it back through with that fish wire. Now that we have one set of bolts for the hitch pulled through the frame, we can lift the hitch up and put some nuts and washers on to hold it up into place while we pull the next set of bolts through. And just so you know, the instructions are <laughs> somewhere, I don't know where I saw it, those instructions or a video or something that they said you can do this without jacking the vehicle up. Mm. Well, that is true, although I believe it would have been easier if the vehicle was off the ground. Although it is possible because we didn't jack it up and well, we're, we're getting it. But I do believe it would have been easier if it was about a foot or so higher. <laughs> with all of our bolts pulled through the frame, we can now tighten them all down with our ratchet and then torque all the bolts to the specs listed in the instructions. And that wraps up the installation of our Kurt trailer hitch on our 2005 Ford Escape. The hitch looks great on there, and I'm sure we're going to get tons of use out of it. Thanks for watching this episode of Home Built Workshop. <laughs> All right, so I got to get bolts. Get off me. Ow. Ow. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> One must be very careful when fishing wires. When you bang your elbow, it hurts a lot. Ouch. <laughs>